Open Up Resources is the highest rated math curriculum for grades six through eight by Ed Reports. And I'm gonna show you how to make it even more personalized and engaging for your students with insert learning. Okay, so it's openupresources.org and you can click check out their math curriculum. They also have an ELA one. We're gonna be looking at the math one today. Um, and I've got a couple of lessons already open, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. You can click on explore the curriculum. And then from here as a teacher, they've got a lot of materials for teachers, but for creating our lessons, we're gonna click on here and then select your grade and then the specific activity or unit you want your students to go through. So you wanna be looking at the student one. For me as a teacher, um, what I've done now is, so this is one that I've selected, and I'm going to load in Insert Learning. So Insert Learning is a browser extension for Chrome, and it gives you this tube on the left-hand side. And now we can actually start to interact with the actual source here. So for this one, um, or for this assignment, they ask students, which game would you choose? And so I'm going to simply ask a question right here. So I'm gonna click on the question tool right there, and down here after all of this, I'm just going to type, I'm just going to copy this in, copy, paste it, and now students can actually answer the question right there. And so this is, this is kind of an opinion one. I think it'd be kind of fun to also add in a discussion of now as a class or like to the class, share which one and why. With the class discussion, what happens is that now every, all the other students in the class can see each other's responses pop up in real time. But as a teacher, you're the only one that's able to view individual students' responses. So in this next one, what I've got here is we went a little bit further. Um, and in this one, now they have students um, designing um, a simulation um, that they're gonna use using coin tosses. But what I thought would be kind of nice is they've got a little practice up here before they start, start to get into the simulation down here. What I want to do though was just kind of remind students some of the coin toss stuff. So I found this great YouTube video. I'm just gonna copy the URL. And over here, I'm going to start off by adding in a sticky note. Review of coin probability. I'm just going to paste the URL to that YouTube video and now it's embedded right there. Students can actually watch this video right here. Now what I'm also going to do is down here I'm going to add in some video instructions from my individual students as they go along here because they are going to go through and do these practice ones because it says find the value of each expression mentally. Um, so I'm going to add in a little sticky note. I'm going to paste it up here and the sticky note is what lets you now as a teacher kind of add in a whole variety of other media including being able to record video directly. So I'm click on there, up pops my little video, and I'm gonna say, all right, students, so I want you to go through these questions and think through them on your own um, and in your head, try and solve them and then put down your answer. Don't worry if you're wrong or not. This is just simply a mental exercise. And I'm gonna say, all right, students. So now that video is going to actually show for the students right there, that is quick and simple. And for each question, I'm going to simply put in a little question box. Um, and I'm just going to copy that question and paste it and then for each one we can go along and students can then type in their answer as they're going along. All right, so now we get down to the simulation here. Um, and this one I kind of like because it's a combination of things of it. Students can actually then run the simulation here and they go through and they're collecting data. Now for me as a teacher, um, cause I'm also a high school science teacher, I like to have my students write out a lot of the stuff on paper cause it helps them kind of like organize this stuff, um, just that kinesthetic learning. So for this, I'm gonna have them draw out this graph on a piece of paper, but I'm gonna have them now do the analysis questions within insert learning. So I can have a little note here of write like, um, write these out, paper. But then down here, I now want them to put their final answer um, within insert learning. Cause that's gonna make it a lot faster for me as a teacher to get an instant snapshot of what are the students thinking and what are they understanding and grasping as they're going through. So I'm going to copy this question, paste it in right there. And same thing for this one. How could you improve your estimate? I'm going to put another question right there and paste it. Um, and you can always edit the number of points whenever you want to. Now, if we also wanted to, we could have multiple choice question here. Um, so we could have like some different estimates. So if I wanted to give a range, um, what's the probability? Let's say if it's going to be, um, so if I wanted to, this is gonna be a free response, but I can turn this into a multiple choice. And let's say probability is gonna be one, 1 1.2, 0 0.8, or 0 0.5. And let's say if it's gonna be this one. That would simply click, click the correct one. And the way multiple choice works is that students go through, it auto grades it for them. Um, and if they select the incorrect one, what's gonna happen is it'll, it'll 
pop up red, but they keep going till they get the correct answer. And then for you as a teacher, it shows you the order that they guessed incorrectly as they're going along. Um, so it's a really nice way to be able to give them instant feedback so they know the correct answer before they move on. But as the teacher, you get some really great insight on what they're doing. So now that we're all done with this, all I'm gonna simply do is for this lesson, I'm just gonna click on assign. I select my class or I can assign it directly out to Google Classroom because we are an official Google Classroom partner and you are ready to go. Um, so make sure your students also have the insert learning browser extension installed. You can take this a little bit further um, because with those sticky notes, you can embed almost any other tool that's out there, Flipgrid and Edpuzzle and Quizlet. And because we're talking about math here, Desmos and GeoGebra um, and YouTube all have some really amazing things that you can add into the already great open up resources math curriculum um, and really personalize it and tailor it to your specific students that you have that you have in your class. So check it out, go to insertlearning.com, sign up, try it out for free, check out the teacher um, created public library that we have also to find a lot of great lessons in there, all the way from grades to higher ed.